Hello, YouTubers. The new time travel high me, 88. I'm back with another Doctor Who DVD review. And yes, we're still celebrating Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. Today, I'm doing another Doctor Who DVD review. The one I forgot to review it back in February. So today, I'm going to review Doctor Who, The Gunfighters. Yes, I love The Gunfighters. This is a great Hartnell story. I really love it. It is fantastic to watch. This four-part adventure originally transmitted on April 30th through March 21st, 1966. How This is Jackie Lane's third appearances as Dodo Chaplin. The plot begins in a frontier town of Tombstone, Arizona, the troublesome Clanton brothers, Ike, Phoenix, and Billy, are in town in search of Doc Holliday to settle an old score over the death of another brother called Reuben that made up with their hired hand, Seth Harper, at the Last Chance Saloon. He knows what Holiday looks like and what is described, his coat and demeanor. This is overheard by the bar singer, Kate, who lets a Par more holiday knows that he is in danger. The TARDIS arrive in a nearby stable. The doctor is in agony from a toothache. He and his companion Stephen Taylor and Dodo Chaplin, dressed as cowboys, soon encounter a local marshal, Wyatt Earp, who offers them this his protection, and he warns them to keep the counsel. The doctor finds the doc I mean the dentist. Holiday himself, while Dodo and Steven book rooms at a local hotel, they then are mocked by the Clanktons, who suspect of the doctor they refer to as Holiday himself. Seth Harper is sent to the dentist's surgery and invites the doctor's tooth removed to the hotel. In five minutes to meet his friend, Holiday is violently happy to let him to be shot in his place, allowing the real doc to disappear, but Kate intervened to ensure the doctor survived. This will buy some time until Holiday threatens and hides in the upstairs chambers of the hotel, firing his gun. At appropriate moment to con the Clantons, to, into thinking the doctor is indeed Holiday. The sharpshooter soon afterwards, why Earp and Sheriff Bat Matheson arrive to break up the frantic and take the doctor into custody for those protection. Stephen now becomes embroiled in a plot to smuggle the doctor's gun to help him free from the jailhouse, but the doctor refused to be armed. Stephen is shortly after confronted by a rabbit wound uppered by the Clanton, who is intent on lynching him on an associated on disruptible holiday. Once more, Earp and Matheson, who disfuse the situation and also take Finn Clanton into custody and to assure to cooperate with his brother, the doctor and Stephen are free and told to leave town as soon as possible. Dodo has meanwhile fallen in Kate, I mean with Kate, and Doc, who both plan to leave town and take her with them. When Seth Harper stumbled across their escape, planned Holiday to kill him, and the trio then depart. Harper's road as aide to the Clanton soon replaced by new arrival, Johnny Rangold, who shoots local barman, Charlie, by the way of introducing him to the town of Tombstone. The doctor and Stephen run into the last chance saloon in search of Dodo and encounter a dangerous Rango. Ryder's Earp's brother, Warren and Virgil, have meanwhile arrived at Tombstone to help enforce the law. The doctor soon tells them that Ringo is in town. Events take a harsh turn when the other Clanton brothers visit the jailhouse to free Finn, killing Warren Earp in the process. 
Meanwhile, Steven heads out of town to look for Dodo with Ringo in tow in the search of Holiday. Steven and Kate end up being taken by Ringo to the Clanton Ranch where the Clantons recap and tell their father, Pa Clanton, that they can kill an herb. Why Earp swears revenge and start to build a, a lawman to deal with the Clantons once for all. Doc Holliday returns to Tombstone with Dodo, offer his service to his old friend Herb too. Attempt by the doctor to defuse the situation amount to little. There will be a gunfight at OK Corral. On one of the side of the three Clanton brothers and Johnny Ringo, on the other, two Herbs and Doc Holliday. At the end, the gunfighter, Rango, and the Free Clantons are shot dead. Shortly after, the Doctor, Steven, and Dodo slip away into the TARDIS. As they arrive on a strange planet, and they decide to go out to have a look. As they leave, a strange man seen approach on a TARDIS scanner. This is a great episode. I really love it. This is the best Hartnell story ever. Let's take a look, shall we? Here we have still pictures. On the DVD features, we have audio commentary by actors Peter Purr, Shane Raymer, David Graham, Richard Brell, producer Tristel Verico, moderated by Toby Haddock. The end of the line, tomorrow's time, the first doctor, as told by the late Mary Tam, Full of gallery PDF materials. Here's the episode disc for the gunfighters. Now, when it's shown in North America, the ending of the Doctor Who title caption next episode, Doctor Who and the Savage, was utterly re omitted, removed by the North American PBS station and replaced by reformatting credits. Fascinating. This is the last Doctor Who story to have an individual episode title. Okay. And if you're looking for this episode, I recommend to get this episode. It was released on VHS as part of the End of the Universe collection. That's it for this review. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back later to do another Doctor Who DVD review. It is The Three Doctors. So till next time. Actually, it's the Carnival of, Carnival of Monsters. Sorry. Till next time, this is the new Time Travel Jaime 88 saying rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.